Hello, and welcome back to some more Isle of a Birth Hero Mode. So here we go. Flooded Tunnel. Alright, so immediately you can notice that there's some differences with raft pads. There's raft pads. Um, I'm gonna take this this way to start off with. I don't really remember where all these go. Let's take this way. Can I... Uh, is this a functioning... I'm stuck. I am actually stuck. Alright, well, that's a thing that just happened. I actually got stuck there because the raft wouldn't activate. <laughs> Honestly, now. We're just getting stupid right now. Let's try that again. That's a little bit scary how bad that is. Oh, okay. It just activates right away that time. You gotta be perfect for this, apparently. That's annoying. I don't remember it being that precise. Yeah, that takes me here. So, let's see what we have over this way. Oh, a Beemos. Fun stuff. It's actually kind of cool that the bats can't fly on everything. There we go. Got rid of him. Okay, what's done? Right, right off the bat with this stuff, okay. The hardest part to this is honestly finding where to start. Well, I'm not gonna do learn anything unless I actually just start pushing stuff. God dang, where do I start with this? Well, I'm already screwed up because I can't get in there now. Jeez, okay, so let's just go boom, boom. Um, I'm gonna push you up there. I'm gonna push you over this way. You down. Because now I can go and do this, 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 this. Man, this is a real thing here. I'm gonna push that there. Push that down. Push that over. Let's push that there. The goal is to just get that one on the far left all the way over to the right. Oh, hey, I'm a gamer. Yeah, uh, thank you for bearing with all those tests I was doing. Just wanted to see if I can make this any the stream any better. Um, there, 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 there. Okay, I think I have it. It looks like I have it. Quite complicated. Wow, okay, that actually was fairly easy. It just looked intimidating, I guess. Just an intimidating puzzle. There we go. A lot of blocks are just one that you had to get over. Yeah, that one. Okay. I don't know what the point of the hookshot spot is. Okay, let's see where this one takes me. Okay, that one takes me back that way. That's a little deceiving. As long as they actually activate, I'm alright. Oh, there we go. Right away, got over here. Let's get rid of that thing right away. Come here. 
Now, actually, I remember I, I kind of glitched through this last time. I actually managed to walk all the way up to that chest. I don't know if it was during my Let's Play, but I, I, I do remember doing that at one point where I just literally did that and I, I got there. <laughs> Obviously not the way you're supposed to do it. In fact, actually, wait. Oh, I see how you get there. Okay. Just got to kind of go back around here. Whoops. Okay, that actually helped me a little bit. Can I... Uh... Oh, wait, there's a bomb spot here. Good thing I was messing up. I was able to see that. There we go. Compass. This is a very short little dungeon here. Okay, I'm going to try to... Get through here. Missed. Well, I have the compass, and I didn't hear a chime, so just gonna, just gonna go. Well, this is actually kind of a safe spot. Actually, maybe it was here that I kind of glitched my way through. Alright, well, I can't do anything about that. These bats are so annoying. Ah, money! I don't need it, but there's also a bomb spot here. Let me just see this here. Actually, the stream does look better. I think I may actually have kept the, uh, the bitrate up. It was at 5,000. I think I have it at uh, 6,000 now. Actually, I am curious about that. Do I have the bitrate at 6,000? 6, no, it is 5,000. Okay, I guess it just looks better for some reason. Weird. There we go, okay. Haven't really been paying full attention, but now I am. Ah, okay. I was gonna say, otherwise how would I get across? Alright, so in terms of the map, things look good. There's one room over there, it looks like. Okay. Crap. Can't wait for level 9. There's a lot of B-Moses in level 9. Hookshot's really good for dealing with bats, considering it's as strong as my sword. It's kind of sad that I have a uh, hookshot that's as strong as my sword right now. Don't know what's up with these, but I see this. Every room with these guys. Crap. Tried to dodge it, and I ended up getting hurt anyway. I'm actually going to use the hookshot. Jeez. I fight these guys all the time, and I'm never used to it. The fact that they have weird, really weird momentum when they are mid-throw. Oh, the boss key. So have I seen... Yeah, I've practically seen this whole place already. Just the upper left part is all that's left. <sighs> really like this music. Kinda trying to get some more health, that's why I spent my time killing them. Crap. Spun around really quick there. Ok, 
Okay, we have some more wrapped pads. Okay, good. I'm actually, I remember I'm going the right way because this leads to uh, something important. Yep. Cursed Skull. Now, I don't think I've actually explained yet on these streams, but, um, or just in this Let's Play in general. The Cursed Skulls eventually lead to a bonus dungeon that after you beat the final boss, then you beat the fi the bonus dungeon, uh, fight the final boss again, you get a secret ending, and th that's my goal. Granted, Evan20000, which is the creator of this okay, this quest, um, may not want me to show it on here. I'm not sure what his thing is about that, but we'll see when I get to that point. So, wait a minute, that's the boss door, what's up here? Okay, then. I don't remember what this boss is. I'm a little bit concerned. In fact, actually, I want to go get some some more health. Shortcut. I don't have enough health to feel confident against any kind of boss right now. Surprised he didn't shoot at me right there. He should have. All right. Hopefully, that'll be enough. All right. Let's try to get another heart now. Because I... There we go. That was good. Two hearts. Yeah, I lose half a heart for drowning. Good thing I won't have to deal with that much longer. Wink, wink. Okay, so I have a feeling I'm going to need these guys. Oops, wrong way. Need to go around this way. Oh! Hey, Zachary. Good to see you on a stream now. 200 deaths at level 5. That that sounds like my first time playing this quest. I, I died so much. Alright, what is this? Ah, okay, that, that's what I thought it was. Okay. Get ready for some may... Alright, I'm just gonna drown. I am stuck. Oh, this is gonna be a pain. You know what? I'm gonna use one of these. I'm gonna take a big hit here. You know what? It was worth it. <laughs> that, uh, that certainly was worth it. Perfect. I basically just spent a, a hundred rupees to kill that thing, but I don't care. It is dead. Oh, jeez. No, thank you. Not when I have this much health. Good thing you're invincible when in the raft. Yeah, this this quest is a hard quest. No doubt about that. It's it's definitely the most challenging one I've played. Well, Umbral Cloud is pretty challenging. Okay, yeah, so this is a little hint about level 6 here. Oh, yeah, those those mods are going to be a pain. Actually, does this person? Oh, okay. Yeah, so that guy basically just tells you that Tektites, uh, you can grab Tektites. Oh, yeah, level 6, Undersea City. Yes. The first water dungeon of this quest. Well, the only water dungeon, really. Um, so what that Zora was saying is Tektites can be grabbed out of the air with the hookshot, basically. A uh, hook and chain is the hookshot. But, um... Honestly, I don't see anything special about that since the boomerang does the exact same thing. Oh yeah, as you guys probably couldn't tell, this is my favorite dungeon because the primary enemy is Tektites. And I love Tektites, right? I love them, right? Not hearing anyone say anything. I love them, right? <laughs> yeah, this dungeon's gonna be a pain. Uh, the Tektites are a pain even in normal mode. So let's see how this goes. I'm going to do a save here. Uh, yeah, this is going to be a fun dungeon. And it's a water dungeon. So, as you know, there's going to be water shenanigans. Okay. 
Okay, so let's start off. So I'm going to be doing a lot of clearing of tektites. Hopefully I'll remember which rooms hold important items so that I know which rooms to kill them all or not. Alright, let me just get rid of this thing here. Oh, crap. I forgot that's what it was. Uh, okay, you're gonna... You're gonna cause some heartache. Oh, that's a problem. Can I stop activating these things? Yep, that's why I like Tektites. They always, they always hit you. I hated them in the first Zelda, where you one-shot them. Ah, screw it. There we go. I don't know why the... Why did that Landmola despawn? I only killed one of them. Alright, you know what? I will use my arrows on you. Ooh, well. I especially will if you're gonna give them back. And then some. Okay, I'm gonna... Bite my tongue and leave this guy alive. Alright, so... <clears throat> as I always say, I do everything I can with the dungeon in its current state, and then I worry about changing stuff. So the gimmick here... Um, if you know water dungeons, of course, there's water shenanigans. Uh, in this dungeon, you'll notice that there's water on the left side and none on the right. So basically, the way it works is you use a whistle spot and you basically switch the side of the water. I don't think I could have avoided that. Actually, I feel like there's something here. Guess there isn't. Felt like there was something here. These pots are gonna be my best friend. Okay, I need my boomerang because there's tectites. A tectite. Ooh, yes! Got two of them with that one. Jeez. Yeah, land molas give a lot of health. They do damage, but they also give a lot of health, so it's it kind of equals out. There we go. Yeah, level 6 isn't... Uh, Enemy-wise, I wouldn't say it's as hard as level 5, other than, of course, Tektites. But the actual, like, difficulty I don't think is as high. Those flies that, that Zora mentioned, they do a lot of damage and they're kind of hard to fight. But, I mean, level 5 had rooms chock full of Dark Nuts that charged at you, along with like likes and Candles. I kind of prefer this dungeon in terms of enemies, even though they are, like I said, tektites. So, I mean, to each, to each, or, to each their own. I think level six is easier, enemy-wise. Level five, I feel like, was more of a combat-focused dungeon, since the puzzle, aside from that one block puzzle, it really wasn't much of a challenge. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Sounds good, Zach. It's cool. Cool that you can make a stream. I want to kill one of you. Well, I guess the boomerang can't snatch him out of the... Well, then again, it didn't look like that did. Oh, well. Not gonna worry about it. Actually, I'm gonna use my candle. Yeah! There we go. Get off that potion. Yeah, see, I was able to hit that in midair. 
Yeah, I don't understand what that whole tip is. I prefer the boomerang much more than a hookshot in terms of stunning. Crap. I want to kill one more of you. Make my life later on much nicer. Alright, here's our first water thing. I don't think there's anything I can do right now. Ten minutes. I, I remembered fairly early on what to do. Okay, yeah, so now the water has switched sides. The left side now is dry. <clears throat> so the goal right now is to find the dungeon item. Okay, these are the bat, or the moths. They are going to be a real pain. Jeez. More of a pain than I remember. <gasps> Oops. Did not mean to do that, but it worked out. Alright. Ah, yes. Wow. Wow. It's like the game knew that I was almost dead. I will actually use the hook shot. Okay. What's down here? Okay, there's the left the left side's uh thing. Water changer thing. Hey, right, I knew that there was something here. There we go. Setting up for later on. I want my hook shots. See if I can get myself a heart. Maybe not. Okay. Waiting for him to jump. Alright, let's see what this does. Okay, still setting up for later on. Yeah, like likes are no fun. They like to take your money by taking your shields, causing you to buy more shields. So these things, I think they instantly die to fire. Oh, well, he just got stuck, so good for him. Not gonna kill... Mm, I didn't want to kill them all, but... So be it. Yeah, I'm not worried about health when fighting these things. Although I will use my candle here. Oops. Yeah, they're, they're basically just walking refills. So goal number one, like always, I'm actually going to kill some of these things, is to find the map. I think I'm actually on trap for the map. I, I, think, I think it is this way. I don't quite remember. Oh, he jumped right on me. Ah, uh, screw it. I'm not going to worry about this. Uh, as have you been getting your potions from... Oh, shoot. I should have done that earlier. Have you been getting your potions from the potion lady? Because her potions are far cheaper than anywhere else. 15 rupees, to be exact. At least until you get the wealth medallion. At least I don't know if it's called the Wealth Medallion here. It's there's something that has a, serves the same purpose in this quest. Level four was a big challenge. Um, at least first I did it. It's level four was a rude awakening to this quest. I think it was this one? No, it was this one. There we go. Yeah, I believe that's the map right there.